Right, we're trying this out tonight. I'm going to stick some videos <coughs> to answer some of the questions because I can, I can speak a bit quick, quicker than I can type. <coughs> so, should be good. Get your questions in. I love the idea that you have to change your goals to actually suit the new conditions. So you can't go for those great long runs in the nice weather like you did in the summer. So you mix it up with the, making use of the train, a bit of muddy ground, good for balance, build a bit of strength and look forwards. Looking forwards is a great way to manage your mood. I love it when a plan comes together. It's a great idea and a great way to, to cope with the difficulties because Plans give you goals in the future goals and you, then you can work towards those goals with, with immediate strategies and you can think for every session, what do I need today to do today to get me to that long-term goal? Plans can give you optimism that you're going to get somewhere better in the future. It's a great answer. Planning, preparation and overcoming the difficulties that the weather, the environment, the dark nights is going to face and having something to do in place makes it really easy or much easier to step into that decision I'll go and do this if it's chucking it down the rain Does music improve performance? Well, generally it helps what music does, it helps distract your attention it can provide you with um, a rhythm to help you move more, move more smoothly it can provide you with motivation through listening to inspiring lyrics. But you kind of have to select the music for the right um, conditions. So if you know you've got a big hill to come up, having that really inspirational track come at the point where it most motivates you can be really good. But therein lies one way to make it work, is to use motivational tracks to do interval sessions. So your three-minute track to do a three-minute effort, which really inspires you. I've got my tracks that I listen to. They're, they're a bit punky, but they really generate the arousal you need to get you th through and give you the rhythm to give you perform at your best. So, yes, music can help. Can't rely on it necessarily mm. in races because of the you can't always have um, the sat going on, but can be can be helpful. Thoughts of failure, they're going to come and, and generate some really unpleasant emotions. And these unpleasant emotions, being angry about yourself, being disappointed, feel shame, are going to do no good at all for your future motivation. Every time you think about going out in an event, it's similar to the one where you stopped in, you're going to get that wave of horrible emotions and it's going to not make you want not to do it. So rethinking it through is that it's not a failure, it wasn't a success, but what bits of it would you replay and do differently in order for it to be better? It's a process. You didn't achieve the performance yet, but through thinking through, I didn't do that right now, but what do I need to do to improve? You actually focus on the process of getting better and focusing on the process of getting better is far more motivational because in every session becomes an opportunity to do better with, even if it is focusing on a specific bit of te technique so you can always find something in there to work on. But changing how you think is really important. Making the most of the time we've got. And now, a lot of us were working from home. We should have given us the opportunity to be able to have greater control to actually go out and run. And, and we, now we've got a much shorter um, period of daylight to be able to, um, to, be able to do that. Uh, so you should be able to do it. But of course, it's ping, ping, ping down with the meetings, our oh, teams meetings, and so on and so forth. We are busy people, most of us. But what you've got to do is create the space, you've got to protect the space, you've got to feel empowered to be able to block that time out so you can actually go and use it. Now, most of us can do that, or many of us can do that, um, who have been given the freedom to work at home on computers and all those things. But you've just got to negotiate and protect that, be quite proactive in, in being able to do that. And I think part of that is to really see the goal of going for a run as important. I do, and I've probably... I do, I do, and my people at work will know that. that, that Wait, where, where's, where's Lane? He's running, he's training, he's doing his he's trying to keep his chin up. It's important. It's important. Pre-race nerves. We all get them. We all get them. Why do we all get them? Because the event is uncertain. We really don't know how well we'll go until we start, even no matter how much training you've done, no matter how experienced you are. We, it's uncertain. That's the nature of sport. It's important. We want to do well. We are. It's in, it's in public. We want to demonstrate how much we've improved, how fit we are, how fit we, we still are. And so... Most of us will get a sensation of nerves. It is not, first thing, it's normal, but you, 
you can learn to recognize that you feel nervous prior to the start. That nervous is the anticipation you're about to, to compete. Some people get waves of really, really negative thoughts. That's really detrimental. So what can you do? This is what I suggest is to have an have a clear plan for the first part of the race. Once that race starts, a lot of those nerves will stop. You need to get into the race to manage the nerves. Then your emotions will be affected by your performance. Use imagery to see yourself performing, to execute that plan the best way possible. Use positive self-talk to have the right narrative that makes you do the actions you want to do so you don't, you're don't, you not overridden by these feelings that make you do things, bad decisions. Or you're too nervous and you run with your shorts on fire because that's what can happen. We've all done it. Walking. Now, don't be negative. It's only speed. Um, <laughs> And for all the people who think you shouldn't walk, go and do a race with some really steep hills where the most efficient way to go the fastest, you end up walking. And you think, oh, that won't be me. And that's not the best thing to do. I did the Belper 20 a few years ago. I belted up the hills in the first part of it. I was in the, I was right up there, right near the front. It was great. Until we got down the other side and the hills started going down. And those runners who I looked at, who were, I said... It's a race. It's, we should be running. Because <laughs> they could run down the hills and the strategy was absolutely perfect. They saved everything. Let's not be snobby about speed. Let's not be snobby. Let's just work, work at the best, sometimes the best strategy to the course, but sometimes it's the hardest people are going as well. It's been brilliant. <laughs> Uh, that is what it's like is hosting UK Run Chat. You are typing away. <laughs> Although I do a bit of narrate to type as well. And sometimes the computer goes, computer says no. Right, love it. Hope the answers were good. Love your engagement. And um, we'll do